hello friends welcome again in this video we are going to see new bollinger band logic implementation for swing trading strategy here you can see the picture this is the overall implementations they did in the python code here you can see the diagram it's a bollinger band indicator the bollinger band indicator have three lines the upper line is upper band and lower line is lower band then the middle line you can see this is standard moving average suppose the price go beyond the upper band it's a high price then it's if the price go less than the lower band means it's a lower price if it is moving in the central line it's a standard price so if from python code we are finding the breakout upper band then what are the price in upper band then what are the price in lower band then in line and also we are finding the trend based on bollinger band indicator you can find this picture in github this is the link you can find the bollinger band picture which we seen the previous slide this is the github code for bollinger band implementation this is the github repo you can find our trading logic code from this link it's a public repo the pre requests are for set up the visual studio code you can refer this video suppose you are going to execute the python from browser itself you can try the google collapse you can refer this video for that also for bollinger band previously we uploaded some bollinger band videos you can refer that video from this link in this video we are going to see new bollinger band logic for swing trading strategy let's jump into code before that let's see the github repo this is our trading logic repo public repository you can find the bollinger band logic here you can click the wiki then you can find this bollinger band under this you can see the logic here if you click this one you can find the picture for that overall logic we implemented in our code let's see in the code in the code you can find the code from the folder finder then the bollinger band dot py from here you can see the new class bollinger band here this is the class we implemented for this logic you can this is this is the method for loading the data then you can find multiple things in this class like get over high low levels that means let's see in the picture yeah in this picture what are the price touch the upper band this is over high price what are the price is touch the lower band then it's a lower price lower level price again see the method yeah here from this method you can find all over high low levels then this method we will get the last over high level low levels get breakout levels get inline levels then find bollinger band trending the breakout level means any price is go beyond the upper band or less than the lower band that's we call breakout level 
for Bollinger Band. Let's jump into the code now. Here in Visual Studio Code, I already downloaded our trading logic repo here. Here you can find the Bollinger Band class file under the Finder folder. You can find the class Bollinger Band. This is the Bollinger Band class. You can find all the methods what we are going to calculate. Like get over high low levels, get lost over high low levels, get breakout levels, get Bollinger Band inline levels, find Bollinger Band trend. Here you can find one file bbtrading.py. Here let's see how it's finding that output. Let's see from here. Here I am going to find that Bollinger Band with two years historical data. Like the start date is from today, I am minus the two years before, just I am again minus the 20 days. Then end date is yesterday, like today date minus one. So this is the class, the trading list class. You can get the trading list. Here for input, we are using that Google Sheet. This class will find the stocks list from the Google list with the help of Google service account. For set up the Google service account things, already I posted one video in our channel. You can refer that videos for set up that Google service account for access the Google sheet. Here I can show how it will get the stocks. Here, this is my Google Drive. From here, I have one file, our trading logic. In this file, under the stock list tabs, I configured two stocks. These two stocks, I am going to find the Bollinger Band. Here, it will take that particular file based on the setting. You can see the setting in data, then data.json. Here, we, we configured the file name. This is that input Google sheet, our trading logic then the tab name is stock list from this tab it will get that stock list then this is the class for getting the market data with the help of yahoo finance api then in this line i'm getting that one day data then again created one more object like indicator from this object we can find that symbol moving average then the bollinger bands like lower band and upper bands then here i am looking looping each stocks like uh, i can't fear the two stocks hdfc bank and hdfc life then it will loop two times then finding the required values that means the three lines we seen in the picture like central line like standard moving average 20 then upper line then lower line then this is that main bollinger band class we are creating for finding the logic let's see by debugging Yeah, now the debug point came here. Just step over. Here you can find the two stocks, HDFC Bank and HDFC Life, get from the Google Sheet. Then creating that Yahoo API. Then fi finding that 
daily data with the start date is two years before 2021 fourth month then end date is yesterday date then we found the data here you can see the data for these two stocks for hdfc bank you can find the data here totally we can find 508 records for hdfc bank then creating that indicator object then here we start looping the stocks one by one first it's come hdfc bank this is the uh, last date and finding that required uh, lines with the help of uh, indicator object then here uh, we have creating that Bollinger Band object then in this object you can find all values from this object like Bollinger Band breakout level inline level or high low levels the things we can find from here all then all high lows then standard moving average you can find uh, from this list then check get lost or high low level here you can see the last over high low level is on 2023 fourth month fifth day it's a high or high level let's check that one see the fourth month fifth day the price go beyond the upper band so it's a over high level yeah it's correct then the trend is none it's it's not any it's not following any specific trend like it's it's going this way it's not mean any specific trend so it's written none let's find the again that get over high levels here it's written all over high low levels yeah the first uh, list here on 2021 fifth month 18 day it is over high on 2021 fifth month 21st day it's a high level on 2021 sixth month 21st it's a low level let's check this data sixth month 21 yeah here you can see the price came the lower band so it's a lower level so it's correct let's check the breakout here it's only four breakout let's check randomly the first one second one that means zero is the first and first this one is second one on 2022 third month second day the breakout happened the lower band okay let's check third month second day see yeah this is the second day here see the price go below the lower band that means that means breakout from the lower band yeah that's also correct then inline yeah this are the inline let's check randomly on 2021 
sixth month, fifteenth day, which on simple moving average line. Let's check that one. Sixth month, fifteenth day. Yeah, here the price is moving within the central moving average, so it's central moving average line. Yeah, that's also correct. Now it's looping the nest stocks. In next video, we can see the swing trading strategy with help of this Bollinger Band logic. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye.